well, your music then is definitely working on this end to try and uh, in in the extent that w that that we are trying to make music in such a way that our music will not have a message for anybody. We don't have anything to tell anybody. You know, we don't want to change anybody. We, we just want to uh, give people a chance to feel a little better. Mm. You know, that's the absolute most we want to do with our music. Music, our music doesn't like the music doesn't enter into these ideas, and these ideas are just my personal mm -hmm. opinions. They're not, they're not our way of feeling like because like everybody in the band has their own ideas about the world and about yeah. about the way things are and stuff like that. Everybody's entitled to that. Our the music that we make together is something that's uh, an act of love and an act of joy. We like it. You know, we really like it a lot. And uh, uh, it, 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 if it says something, it says it in its own terms at the moment we're playing it. And uh, it doesn't have anything to do with, uh, you know, uh, it, it, uh, we're not telling anybody to go get stoned or to go to go to, to, to do something different or to drop out or, you know, we're not saying anything to anybody. We're just playing. And people and say, take it for what they want. Right, they can take it any way they want. Yeah. And, and that's just the way, that's the way it's best. Well... Now, do you, when this uh, scene uh, moves, like, you know, say New York and the airplanes there now and everything, do you have any objections to moving with it from places? None places? at all. I, in fact, I, ha I don't think I have anything else to do in the world. You'd like to do that. Right. Yeah. Uh, just because I like to see a lot of things that I've never seen before. But San Francisco, will you always consider it a home base? Type I of was thing? born here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, th I think of it, I guess it more is my home than any place else, really. Where are you going to play in New York? I don't know. We're just going. Yeah. We don't have any jobs lined up, but I think we probably will by the time we leave. We're just going to go. We even thought of going there and changing our name and just, really? uh, you know, being an unknown group again and seeing if we could do it. Could you make it, huh? Sure. Name some, uh, in just short phrases, name some in things and out things, things you like and things you don't like. Things I like and things I don't like. I can only tell you about things I like. I don't know what I don't like. <laughs> there isn't that much I don't like. Uh, I like every, just about everything. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't have any complaints. You know, I don't yeah. have any complaints. I don't have any bones to pick. I, you know, I yeah. Good way to be. Yeah. So, what about uh, this? Is just I'm asking you. What do you think of Buffalo Springfield? I like them. You like them? Yeah, I like. Have you heard Moby Grape? I have. I've heard. You should hear them. They're good. You really like them? Huh? Yeah, I like them a lot. Skip Spence is Yeah, he's, well, rhythm? Rhythm he, guitar player. Yeah. Is he better on rhythm than on drums? Because he's a good drummer. Um, really good it's drummer. hard to say. It's hard to compare the two. He's good at both. He's yeah. also just beautiful on stage. I mean, he's a great showman, you know. Well, when I heard My Best Friend, I I thought that was you. You know, I heard that flat top, and it yeah. never occurred to me that it was... Yeah, well, they did They did two tracks on it, like Yorma and Skip both played flat tops on the first track, and then Yorma added the electric lead over. Yeah. You know, would you uh, consider an outstanding guitar player, or different, or standard? Or uh, he's what? an exceptionally original guitar player, and he's got a lot of beautiful ideas and, and uh, a lot real good technical facility. Embryonic Journey, uh, that's, I really like that. Huh? Yeah, beautiful guitar player. It sounds like a lot of uh, guitars on it. Right. Yeah, a few well-chosen words about Matt Cates. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I we never had any personal dealings with Matt Cates. I've only heard about him. I don't want to add any hearsay to the thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, Matt Cates um, is a cigar uh, chewing. Right, he's the famous old manager. Yeah, that's all I can say yeah. about him. That's exactly who he is. And ten years ago, that would have been just fine. But now, the way things are now, it's it's outmoded and it's uh, it's not even fashionable anymore. And already, like the San Francisco scene, because it's creating so much excitement, the record companies are swarming around, but they're yeah. all leaving. Because the managers and the bands say, no, we don't want to, we don't want to make a fortune. We don't want to be rock and roll stars. We want to make good music. And either you you give us the ability to do that, or we don't want anything. Yeah. And uh, so those guys are leaving, scratching their heads and wondering. <laughs> but they'll be back. They're always they always come back because uh, they know that there's dollars involved in it. Well, what about the radio stations? I mean, all you hear anymore. The radio stations are our friends. Yeah. Well, why don't they play? I mean, because our records aren't out yet. Yeah. <laughs> the airplane. They haven't. Done like with the no, album. KFRC is playing a lot of stuff off the album. Well, what about their old album? Was that because their old album, album wasn't all that good? Probably in those days. I, I don't know. Well, see, here's the thing about radio stations. 
Radio stations, there's only one guy in the radio station that decides what's going to be played, and that's the, the guy called the, the program director. Yeah. <laughs> and the program director can be anybody. It can be your uncle or your grandfather. He's yeah. usually a guy who's pretty much of a disinterested observer. He gets incoming records at the rate of some like 50 a day or something like that, 25 a day, dozens and dozens of records, lots of them all the time. Yeah. And he puts down a record and, and puts a needle on the groove and listens to the first 12 bars of it. If, it. if he doesn't like it right then, you never hear of it. It never comes out on the radio. If he does like it, it puts on a playlist. Uh, you know, there's some maybe some quota or something like that. The average radio station has only played about 30 records at a time. 30 or 40 records, maybe. You think it's really the like this top 10 business and number one? Well, that has to do with what's sold, but what's sold has to do with what's heard. So the program directors are you are the ones that are that are the cause of a hit or not a hit because they're the ones that decide whether or not the record gets played. Well, the monkey's just driving crazy, you know. Well, when you make a record, you make it for the program director. You know, that's really where it is when you make a single.